What is going on everybody? George here with another video and welcome back to the channel. Today we're inside my Alucap Canopy Camper that's installed on my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I've had this Canopy Camper for about two years now. Uh, if you know me, you know that I started with the bare minimum and then ended up building it to what it is today. And now we have about 138 nights in it. Um, interior wise, this is why I'm making this video. Um, I've always ran the Goose Gear system and what you see behind me now is their brand new V3 uh, interior system for the Canopy Camper. Uh, this is a 100% bolt-on uh, system aside from the bed plate but the, the actual modules on the system they're all bolt-on once you have the uh, floor or the base plate installed. Uh, the base plate will require you to drill into your original bed uh, but it actually reinforces the composite bed and works a lot better when you know mounting things like fridge slides or different utility modules depending on the application so this specific setup i've had for about four months now and uh, i wanted to really just wait um, and not make this video so quickly uh, because i wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and just obviously um, what I think about the system um, as opposed to the old one. Um, first off, I mean, one of the biggest elephants in the room is going to be the uh, ability to uh, have access from the side here. I think I find this very useful, especially when you have a canopy camper like mine. You know that, uh, you know, the old setup, um, you only have access to the top. And when you're standing here facing in, um, you know, kind of reaching in and over to get something it's kind of kind of a pain in the butt so now you can just easily open this and now you have access to whatever it is whether it's a sleeping bag or um, your camping light whatever it is um, another the big improvements is going to be the molly plates here um, these modules do come with um, this hex style um, molly plate system that you can use to attach molly bags, any type of other accessories, uh, fire extinguishers, you name it. Um, and they also offer a filler plate or a back plate um, that you can also mount things to. In my case, I have my uh, Manager 30. This is a Red Arc Manager 30 um, and uh, looks great. You know, it allows the system uh, to breathe as well. It allows airflow uh, to keep everything nice and cool and uh, also just gives it a good aesthetic view or or look to it. The top plates are still the same as the old Kusker system and for those of you guys that might want to upgrade to the new uh, module system you can actually reuse your top plates and just purchase the um, plates here. Um, these are all aluminum very nice powder coat finish is beautiful looks very elegant and again just saves on some weight as well um, as opposed to the old uh, the old system. So now that I got that information your way, uh, why don't I go through a few of the steps uh, for the install process. Again, if you already have a Kusku system and you want to just simply upgrade the, uh, the utility modules, well at least the bottom portion of it, you can continue to use your top plates. Um, they will be compatible. Um, and for those of you guys that are looking to piece this together or possibly just start with just one side, um, you can also do that as well by simply adding your base plate and then building off of that. So let's go over the steps. All right, so to get started with the bulkhead, we're gonna grab our panel hinge. We're gonna place it underneath. We're gonna make sure that all six holes are lining properly. Then we're gonna grab the hardware provided, uh, the screw. We're gonna place one here at the bottom. We're gonna place one up top. And we're gonna grab a washer and a lock nut and we're just going to hand tighten both bottom and top. Uh, the rest of them we can install a little later. Right now the ultimate goal is to just get everything installed. Um, that way we can adjust everything and then we can tighten everything down and add the rest of the hardware.
All right, so we have the bulkhead all finished up. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the door. We're gonna be installing the latch uh, and finally installing the panel hinges uh, or attaching it to the panel hinge. But you also will see uh, six pre-drilled holes. Um, for those of you guys that like to have extra storage or keep things organized, uh, Goose Gear also offers a molly plate that will sit either in the inner portion of the uh, door or the outer portion. Uh, if you're like me, I love having things really accessible like med kits and flashlights. Uh, so I figured this option would be great. So we're going to add the hardware as well. Uh, very similar to the rest of the setup. We're going to use a screw, a washer, and a lock nut. All right, so now we're gonna grab our hinge. We're gonna place it in the small cavity. We're gonna close it. We're gonna place this bracket up top. We're gonna grab our hardware and our lock washer. So now we're going to grab our door, we're going to place it uh, right on top. We're going to make sure that our latch is working properly. Everything looks good. And now we can go ahead and flip it around and adjust the piano hinge and put the rest of the hardware in. All right guys, so we got the bulkhead assembled and now we're gonna move on to assembling the utility cabinet. Uh, and keep in mind, these all mirror each other, meaning the assembly uh, steps are all the same. Uh, so we're only gonna be assembling one. I'm gonna walk you guys through this uh, specific utility cabinet, which is gonna be the longer one closest to the cab of the truck. Um, and then once we get that all installed, we're gonna move into the inside of the canopy camper and I'll show you guys how it installs to the to the base plate and to the factory alley cap canopy camper uh, rails or rail system uh, but real quickly Brian you did an amazing job this thing is so beautiful uh, it's very elegant uh, very well thought out and uh, you have mounting points here you have these little pre-cut uh, areas here that you can punch these out you can put USB uh, charging ports here um, and again it's a two-piece uh, utility cabinet now which allows you to slightly adjust the height of the of the cabinets um, you have a ton of room here to adjust it and this is key guys because for some reason my Toyota Tacoma um, the rear passenger side of the bed sits a little taller for some reason so even with my old goose gear uh, the utility cabinet would always sit a little taller and there is no way to adjust it and I was not gonna shave uh, the wood or try to make it work I, I made it work uh, but now having the adjustability or the area or the room to adjust the utility cabinet up and down made it perfect and I can tell you that because the passenger side is already installed and it looks absolutely great. So we're simply gonna start by just sliding the bottom piece uh, through. And for the Toyota Tacoma, we're gonna be using the last hole. Uh, here, let me get you guys a close up here. So it's gonna be this last hole and we're gonna be aligning it with this guy here. Alright, let's 
So, quick example here. So now that we have both panels installed and uh, bolted up, uh, we are gonna be also installing the filler plate, which looks like this. This guy will basically go in the inner portion of the utility cabinet. And again, everything has been pre-drilled, uh, making it a really, really easy to install. All right, so now that we have the... So now we're gonna add our spacer. Just like that. We're gonna grab our filler plate. We're gonna place it right on top. We're gonna grab our washer and our lock nut. All right, so here we have the utility cabinet uh, pretty much assembled. All we're missing is a top plate, which we'll be doing inside the, the canopy camper. But man, this thing is so nice. Uh, again, you can get creative. You wanna just not have the filler plate. You don't have to order it. Uh, if you wanna order the filler plate, it looks great. Again, you can mount things behind it if you want to do like your Red Arc Rogue or your BCDC. Of course, you can change the size of the spacer. But man, I am so excited. This thing looks beautiful. Look at this. All right, guys. So we made it into the canopy camper. And this portion is straightforward, guys. I mean, we can't really mess this up. Um, just to demonstrate here, we do have the... Uh, alu cab mount. This is the way uh, the camper is secured to the bed of the truck. We have the factory channel here, the factory bed rail, and then we also have the channel that comes with the canopy camper. You'll see it here. And all we're doing is we're grabbing these T-nuts that are provided and we're just going to be sliding this through the alu cab channel just like that. You'll see this little rubber string just kind of hanging out. Well, that little string, we're just gonna pull it out. And now we have the T-nuts inside. We can obviously adjust these. Then we have these brackets. We'll add the hardware, which looks like this. We have a lock washer, and we have this stainless steel bolt, right? And then the top plate will go right on top of this bracket. Now we're just gonna hand tighten these things. Um, that way we can slide them around and uh, be able to adjust them uh, once we have the top plate installed. So we got the brackets installed. Uh, again, left them loose, so I'm able to move them from side to side uh, to be able to adjust uh, them as I go or as I install the top plate and the utility cabinet. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is in order to make this work and, and install these utility cabinets or interior system for the, for the alu cap canopy camper, you will also need a goose gear bed plate, which looks like this. Um, this basically gives you a flat surface to stand on. Not only that, it has pre-drilled holes uh, to be able to mount things like the utility cabinets or the interior system. Now, with that being said, we are gonna be using the pre-drilled holes that come with the goose gear plate to add the hardware that will basically keep that uh, utility cabinet in place um, and prevent it from moving. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the top plate uh, right up top, just like that. I'm gonna remove the top door. And now I'm able to go under and adjust the plates that we installed earlier. Once they're installed, we're gonna grab the rest of the hardware and we're gonna feed it through. And again, we're gonna just hand tighten everything. Now we're gonna grab the rest of the hardware Quarter 20s, we're gonna feed them through. And then we're gonna grab our lock nut and we're gonna feed it um, down below. 
Now it's going to be a little tricky just because the filler plate will want to be in the way. Um, so just go ahead and take your time and uh, get those in place. Again, we're not going to go Hulk Hogan on it. We're just going to make sure that we're still able to adjust everything uh, before the final um, adjustment here. So here's another view. Again, the installation is really simple. Um, and uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of getting this utility cabinet installed. That way we can adjust everything and get everything buttoned up to show you guys the finished product. All right, so we have all the utility cabinets installed. And as you can see, it looks great. There's plenty of area here in the middle for activities. If your dog wants to hang out, if you just want to have a friend over, uh, you want to sit down, face them, or simply just rest your feet. You want to sit like that. I mean, just plenty of room for activities here. Um, all that's left to do is to add the small L brackets for the bulk panel or the bulkhead, um, which will go there. And in my case, it's going to hide my lithium battery that's there inside a Pelican box strapped down, secured. Um, and it's going to give us a little more room to utilize the bottom of this area here, which the water tank sits right above it. Gives us maybe about a foot. Yep, about a foot of extra storage space and completes the look. All right, so we're gonna work on the passenger side um, just because I wanna point something out. Um, again, I'm making this video uh, to help you guys uh, hopefully just, you know, make the installation a little easier, kind of guide you through. Uh, possibly show you some pointers. Well, one thing that I learned is uh, having the filler plate installed uh, before you add these brackets uh, or the L brackets, uh, it makes it very difficult for you to feed um, this L bracket through this small opening to be able to bolt it down. Um, when you have the filler plate, you're basically going to uh, hit the filler plate. You're not going to be able to completely uh, put the bulkhead brackets through. Um, so uh, what I had to do for the driver's side, I had to fully remove the uh, filler plate. I actually partially remove it, uh, the two spacers uh, closest to the water tank. Just remove those, remove the bolts. And I was able to push the filler plate back just a bit to be able to feed the bracket through. Um, so you can do the same or you can just wait and add the filler plates uh, at the end. So again, filler plates will hit when you try to slide the L bracket through to add the hardware. So again, we got the bolts. We're gonna grab our washer, our lock nut and feed it from behind. And again, Brian did a beautiful job um, just hiding um, the brackets behind the utility cabinet, just making it a cleaner, uh, more elegant, uh, like I'm talking and I'm doing the wrong thing, but yeah, just a cleaner uh, look overall. So we're gonna do this for the top L bracket and the bottom. Again, I already did the driver's side. And once we're done, we're gonna place the bulkhead against the L brackets, excuse the text, and uh, we're gonna get it all buttoned up. Now we can put our bulkhead and align it with the L bracket holes and add the final hardware. Seeing 
looks absolutely great. Now, as you can see here, um, you can also adjust the bulkhead up and down. Uh, in my case, again, I'll be using the sleep decks, so I just want it as low as possible. Now, I do have a battery back here, and the access point is really tight. Let's see if I can make this work somehow. Now again, as you saw, the installation was straightforward. Um, you know, really just sticks some basic tools and, and even you don't even need a measure because everything just lines right up. Um, the fact that these are now a two-piece uh, module, you can adjust depending on your canopy camper or your bed. Um, like I was telling you guys earlier, my bed for some reason sits a little taller uh, on the driver's side and uh, you know, just having the ability and uh, being able to adjust the module up and down just makes everything sit nice and flush. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys are interested in this project uh, or you want to tackle a project like this and are interested in the product, uh, feel free to visit goosegear.com. Uh, you guys can check them out. I'll be linking all their information down below. And uh, in case you're not near the HQ, which is in Colorado, you can always hit up a local dealer um, in your area and see if you can place an order through them. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.